Hey guys, we're here at Fargo Climbing. We are going to try out today a Burden of Dreams replica that Parker and Lane set recently. We figured with the premiere of the Burden of Dreams film featuring Will Bosey, what better time than now for us to send our own Burden of Dreams? So let's go check it out. If you guys want to just go ahead and introduce yourselves. And so I'm Parker. Like this whole idea of kind of sending a replica here was kind of just like first brought up by me. I like first saw the replica that Aiden Roberts, he made, and that was kind of the inspiration for making the replica here. The Burden of Dreams, uh, Boulder in general, just like the sequence, like really popped out to me. The fact that there's like a really cool foot walkthrough, but it just feels so long, even though it's like just five moves, really inspired me to throw it up like a version here. Uh, I'm Lane. I kind of just like saw Parker setting this cool route and I was like, oh, I've seen Burden of Dreams before, that's sweet. But just kind of set something with that middle sequence where you're kind of like parallel with the ground with a really far foot. I always wanted to set something like that. So Parker was setting it and I was like, oh, maybe I could help and kind of just showed up. Should we go ahead and uh, give it some attempts here? See how it goes? I'm just gonna give it a rip, I guess. Do it. Nice, that was solid. Nice. Oh. All right, Parker. Oh. Here's my flash attempt. I'm gonna be excited if I can just hold on to this thing, so. Oh, this one's bad. Yeah, that one's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to use like the, the kind of bubbly looking black holes because they look very similar. Reminded us of the replica. Like the lattice draining one. It's the, yeah, it's, it's like those, holds. the three printed black holes and uh, these bubbly like black holes that we have kind of just always reminded us of that replica. Yep. So what do you guys think uh, in terms of a grade? Now I would say the grade is somewhere around like V9, V10. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> like it's like burning a dream's light. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the biggest change is literally just the degree. I mean, it's a 30 degree wall we're setting it on instead of a 45 degree, which is what burden of dreams actually is. That degree change of 15 degrees does actually drop it probably to like an eight or nine for our replica at least. Yeah. So I like really focus on setting the left hand on the good spot and do okay. what I want first. Yep. Um, and then right hand, I mean, you gotta try to get what you can out of like the thumb here. I mean, there's not much here. Kind of a thumb pinch. definitely helps kind of, yeah, a little bit of a pinch. I'd say the load up, the left foot is kind of key just to get yourself off the ground. And then you place your right foot. I won't be able to get any power from just being locked right here. Right. So it's like, you have to take some, some energy to lock out and to pull back in to explode off like from a lockout kind of. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Very finger intensive. <laughs> well, I just, uh, I was going to say, I was going to break those out. So I just bought these. Yeah. So I got the, I ordered the La Sportiva Squamas. So that's what's in here. Not just for this route, but you know, hopefully it'll help. <laughs> So, would you guys like to introduce yourself to the viewers and uh, tell us how long you've been climbing and anything else you want to throw in there? Uh, my name is Jonah. I've been climbing for like two, 10 months-ish now. Definitely not as good as Parker and Lane, and I haven't given this as many rips. I'm Amro. I've also been climbing for about 10 months now. Yeah, when Parker set this at first, I thought it looked literally impossible. Yeah. But then um, <laughs> I hit the middle sequence up until the last move a couple times now, so I actually feel not awful about it anymore. So I feel like I've got a decent chance of getting middle sequence in the last move. The first move is so far for me. These guys put up some pretty awesome uh, bouldering videos on Instagram, so definitely go check them out, follow over there. Uh, we're monkeyboys.fc on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, we also have this bag of mystery items. So if we find ourselves still struggling, we're gonna reach in, pull out a mystery item, and see if it'll help us out, help us send Burden of Dreams today. A bit of a power spot here. Thank you. 
Nice. nice. How's the skin looking? Oh, it's it's not great today. It's very slick. And I think I took up just a little too much good real estate. One thing that we did really amazing about this route is like the size of that hold is similar to the size of the hold in the actual route. You catch, you know, here, you got that finger, and then you gotta go here and take that finger off and replace with another finger. Yeah. I mean, I think if you're way stronger than us, you could probably just hit it with like the two fingers and just go. Yeah, and, then, and another one is we spent a ton of time forcing that foot swap, that foot movement. So get that left foot, right foot, drop the left foot, and then go out with the right. Sequence. Yeah, almost forcing the sequence. I think we've all tried to break it. <laughs> nice, come yeah, on. Nice. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Stay on, stay on. Nice. That was a <laughs> solid attempt. That was really good. Really good attempt. <laughs> okay. has been a little Fargo climbing claim made that our last hold is worse than the real Burden of Dreams last hold. We joke that our, our Burden of Dreams is harder than the real one. At least that last move, right? So Will Bozy or Stefano Gasolfi, maybe uh, Sean Rabatou should come try it out. Hey, Will Bozy did say that he might be making a trip to the US, so come on over to Fargo climbing and try out our replica, see if you can flash it. Nice. And then you've got a top out as well, right? Yeah, you're right. That's actually not very good. <laughs> yeah. We also did a video recently. We followed these guys around for a day of route setting. That will be up on the channel as well soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yep. Oh, solid. The middle part is the best part. But then you just have to remember that the left hand has to come there too. So it's though on the other hand, if I can just get the the sequence, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's match left, right, left down, right out, right out. Okay. Yeah. Left hand. Okay. Ready? Yep. Come on. Left foot up. Right foot up. Nice. Swap. Oh. Woo. That was solid. Okay, that was something. That was solid. <laughs> Woo! I think the new shoes are helping. Nice. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Very close. Get the feet going. Yeah be like this yeah <laughs> and then you would cut the right foot out i felt like it's been really fun to like watch that sequence yeah, yeah. so pretty cool to actually get to uh, get to try it out now the million dollar question has sean rabbitou sent burden of dreams what do you think i have a feeling that sean may have sent it he's he's close stefano said something in his most recent video that kind of made me question yeah 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 it'd be really cool to see it yeah send it. Yeah. yeah it would be super sweet sweet let me know what you think in the comments. Has Sean Rabbitou sent Burden of Dreams?
Yes. Uh. <laughs> right, Parker. Progress. Progress. I moved the foot yesterday. Because you, you can see the screw holes were there. Oh, got and it. I moved it up and I, I put the screw in and mm -hmm. I just went a little bit too hard on the cranky and then it just split. So I just, <laughs> just it back, put on it back there. up in there. <laughs> you know it's a small hole when there's no bolt. Yeah. Just the screws, right? <laughs> so Chris, one of the co-owners of the gym here, he's the only one so far that sent the first move. Uh, I think we have some footage of that, so I'll show that here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I think we're making some progress. So this is good. Mostly these guys are making progress, but it's fun to try it out. Guys, on there. Oh, oh nice. come on. That's oh, it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to fit them together. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Maybe you can do some Ad Adamandra power <laughs> screens for us. <laughs> Sharma's coming out. Inner Sharma coming out. Yeah, exactly. All right, somebody want to give me a push? Yeah. Here we are on Burton of Dreams Lane. Good. Not only do you have to climb it, but you got to tell us exactly what's happening every second. Foot swap. <laughs> Put out. Come on. Nice. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, man, that dry fire. Okay, so we've learned from the real burden of dreams, it's pretty finger intensive. Would you say the replica is the same? Oh yeah, I would definitely agree. Um, you're definitely able to take a little bit of load off with the feet on the 30 degree. I say you can toe in a little bit better than if it was like 45, but it, even still it feels so intense on the fingers pretty much the whole way, which is like crazy how tired the fingers get just making the four moves and you're going for the fifth move and you're already just gassed. Yeah. But I think if I hit the first move, I'd have a really good chance of hitting all of it up till the dyno at the end. At the end, yeah. I've done that middle sequence. So I've done from move two to the dyno a few times now. Mm -hmm. So I feel confident that if I hit it in the right spot, which is the most important thing because of that match, um, that it'll, it, I could get to the dyno. I don't know if I'll stick the dyno though. Yeah, it's a tough, <laughs> tough dyno. We were able to kind of just base a lot of the placements off of like, oh, where were their arms? How much were their arm bends? Like, and like, right. like all the stuff watching their videos over and over again, so. So the next level is ordering some of those 3D scan holds from. That would be sweet. Lattice training. That would be sweet. Not be able to pull off of them, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever sends it today, Parker's buying them tickets to Finland, so. To go try the actual yeah, thing. To go try the actual we're, thing. We're good to go. We're, we're, we're ready. Lights. You're ready. Yeah. We're headed over. <laughs> Lot. No, I've heard good things about just that area. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it has plenty of boulders in the area. So I would love just to go to even just feel the holes of Burden and like yeah. actually yeah. see the, the real the thing. angle too. But I think what we got to do is we got to send this one and then we got to go to Lattice Training, their facility, and then send their replica. And then we'll go book, book yeah. the Fed Finland. So I've made a few like Burden of Dreams videos now. And yeah. there's quite a few people watching from Finland. Oh, really? So, Sweet. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the, everyone watching from Finland. One more push, y'all. Okay. <laughs> nope. That left foot was on so poorly. I crimped it in such a weird way that like hurt the back side of my thumb. I, I was thinking about putting, uh, we have some of the routes on here that are really, really hard. And I always thought it'd be fun to put like some, maybe jugs or something similar yeah. next to them for some of the more intermediate and lower end climbers, mm -hmm. newer climbers. Um, Lower end climbers. Lower end. That's, yeah, that's kind of like a. Is that, that's kind of demeaning. You corrected yourself. That's it's canceled. It's canceled. canceled. That. It's kind of demeaning. My bad. No, you're right. good. <laughs> oh. 
system it's allows. It's not. I think we need a pulley system, actually. Good. It's the beanie. Oh, that's the beanie. beanie. That's my the beanie. All right. That's her. I just got on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do the beanies add power? Oh, hard to tell. Like, if you'd rather be tall or rather be short yeah. in this scenario, but I think like right in the middle, with like a long ape index, I'd say it's definitely ideal. I'm five five, and I got a plus two. Plus two. I'm like. Five, ten, five, eleven range. Yeah. Uh, and then I have a close. Yeah. Hey, well, I can actually hold it with that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, set a hard. Yeah, we set hard moves. So we've basically just been trying with this purple, better right starting handhold to get a feel for that first move. It definitely helps me to be able to at least hold the position on the wall. This one is pretty slopey. Whereas this, uh, you can crimp on pretty well. Ooh. It's crazy how much a better right hand makes such a big difference. <laughs> and and higher, yeah. Oh. oh, oh, all right. The tarps Getting off serious. for power. Here we see a wild parker in his natural habitat, projecting the first move of the burden of dreams light. Testing the theory that tarps off at 10% or more power. Oh. oh. Inconclusive results, but it does seem to help. According to Magnus Mitbo, if you're being filmed. I mean, today all of us held the last hold all of a sudden, and we've never done yeah, that before. Yeah, yeah. So the camera helps. The camera, the beanie, shirts off. All right, you got this, Parker. Oh, that was solid. All right. Yeah, Jonah. Woo! Yep, yep. Oh, nice. Come on. Nice. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, left hand. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> the yellow one, I think, is not part of the replica, but it could be. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys make me laugh. <laughs> it's funny to look at because it's almost—it almost looks like a, a moon board, which is like yeah, behind us. It, it almost sure. looks like a moon board out there, just mm -hmm. like in the middle of the woods. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that has like five holds on it. <laughs> it's very like conducive to being able to set a replica bit. Yeah, yeah, reason, right? it's like built for board climbers, I mm -hmm. guess. Do you think it would be possible to do this in mental shoes? It'd be hard. I mean, I think someone could do it. You know, especially with how good our hands are. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Kept the left hand and hit it in a really good spot. I just, I might have overshot it. Seriously, you're in 
the Fargo, North Dakota area. Come hang out with this crew here. They are awesome. And the Verdon replica is not the only thing available at Fargo Club. Nice. What do you think, Jonah? What do you got left in you today? I'll give the last one, last move a couple more attempts. Sounds good. As long as my wrist doesn't go again. Yeah. Bothering you a little bit? Yeah, the they're like the twice in the midsection where I'd go up for the match. And it felt like it kind of just yeah. <laughs> it felt like someone inside snapped. I know. Yeah. I don't know if it did, but. Hopefully not. Weird shape of that right hand. For the oh, yeah. top, for the yeah. bench. Come on. Come on. Close. Ooh. I'll get up. Okay, I think we need to see your shot in here, though, as well. Well, <laughs> it, I leave it in a target bag. Uh, yeah. Because then I, I close the target because my drawstring on it's broken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so I leave it in a target bag so that I can tie it and then put it back in my, my backpack. So what's the That's point perfect. Of, what's the point of the chalk bag inside of the target? Why don't you just put the chalk in the target bag? <laughs> I'm going to go climb this route. <laughs> Replicate some of the moves where, like, when like you pop the finger, place a finger. I think it's just like super sweet. I hear this term like low percentage a lot yeah. in relation to the moves on Burden. Yeah, I mean, I'd say definitely like even on our replica, a lot of the like the first move and the fifth move feel very low percentage for sure. Okay. Try putting the, grabbing the pinch. Yeah, it was like a, it was a dragon, and I tried to slip my thumb on there to get the pinch, but I feel like really if you grab the pinch from the side, it's not good. Like it doesn't help me out at all. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, give me a push here. Okay. Come on, there you go. Oh, that felt fun. <laughs> it's cool. You're like, it is. You're like, ah. oh man, yeah, it's just so. I think I need to work on my finger yeah, strength, very, though. Very Every time I do it, I have to just like breathe in, like, I don't know, it's like a psychological it's thing to keep that tension. It keeps that body tension. Yeah. And that core stable. That's awesome. Come on, Parker. Nice. Here you go. Oh. So like messing up the footwalk at first kind of just like threw me off my game. And then just like missing that left foot like twice really just taxes the fingers. And so when it came to that last move, I just didn't have the the energy in my fingers to get it. It's so tensiony where like every move it feels like you have to hit it perfectly. Um, on the hold where you want it. So it's like having really good hand-eye coordination with the holds is definitely important for this too, I think. Big push. Okay, good. Oh no, God, that's so bad. Oh, it's so scary. Oh! <laughs> oh, I saw that coming. 
Whenever I look up Burn of Dreams, it's always the movie that pops up. Alright, I'm gonna try the cheat start moving then. We'll see if I can get something done. <laughs> that felt a lot better. It feels like um, instead of trying to throw and catch, I was like almost able to lock myself in this position and then like slowly, kind of slowly go up and then just hit it. So I think my new plan of action is to kind of really push myself over and get myself like right over that right foot and then just kind of reach my hand up and place it on instead of trying to throw for it. All right, I think I can actually hit this move. <laughs> Come on. All right, Parker. Oh. Can't believe Chris stuck that like second attempt. That's crazy. Just give it my best attempt and All just right. kind of see, see and hopefully remember the motion for next time. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy how much that, that purple right hand makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Even just like shifting the weight and getting the distance. I think it's slowly becoming more achievable. Yeah, so a good session? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, Definitely progress on the last move, like that is really where we saw it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us were able to hold it and bring in the match and come close to like actually sticking the last move, which felt like, it felt so unattainable before. But now it's, it's pretty close, I think. Like one session, maybe two. And I think we'll start sticking that last move. And then like maybe just another session or two to start getting close to the first move. And then it's just about linking it. But yeah, I'd say solid session. <sighs> See how it goes. Oh, shoot. Yes! No way. Let's go! Nice! Yeah, that was easy. That was easy today. Sweet. Well, Parker, Lane, thank you guys so much for an awesome video today. We will be sure to post a video or a short once someone does manage to send it. Uh, so definitely subscribe to August Climbing. Stay tuned for that. How can people follow you guys on uh, Instagram or elsewhere? Uh, mine's ParkerMC21. Oh, I don't, I don't really use much Instagram. I, I, I think it's like Lane Schmidt. Perfect. Lane <laughs> Schmidt. We don't know how to smell sh spell Schmidt, but we'll figure it out. We'll, figure we'll put it up. We'll put it up on the screen <laughs> down at the bottom. Yeah. And uh, yeah, huge shout out to Fargo Climbing as well today. Thanks uh, for them to allow us to film here and of course to set up this awesome replica. And hey, my name is August. I'll see you guys in the next video. Pretty good? That's, I think it's good. Cool. Sounds good. Instagram, Lane Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> post, post once a year.